Hey guys, today we're going to solve question number uh, 18, digit sum of 19. This question asks us to count the total number of positive integers that are under 1 million whose digits sum up to 19. This is a pretty challenging problem and it took me a while to get it my first time attempting it. But there's a pretty elegant solution, in my opinion. And it comes down to first enumerating the form of a valid solution that sums up to 19. So there would be exactly six digits. That's just because the smallest digit would be one, the smallest positive integer under one million would be one, and the largest number, the largest positive integer under one million would be 999,999. As you can see, every positive integer under one million fits this form x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, and x6, with the constraint that each xi is between 0 and 9 inclusive, because we can't have a digit that is value 10 or 11 or anything of the sort, anything larger than 9. Secondly, we have the constraint that the digits sum to 19. More specifically, that x1 plus x2 all the way up to x6 are equal to 19, are exactly equal to 19. Now, the solution to this problem relies on a combinatorial argument called stars and bars. I, If you haven't yet heard about this approach or technique, I highly urge you to pause the video and look that up. It's pretty fundamental and I would rather deal with solving this problem as opposed to teaching you about a technique that, well, to be completely honest, there are likely people online who are more qualified and able to explain such a topic. Anyways, back to this problem. We can apply the stars and bars technique to our expression right here where we have x1 to x6 summing up to 19. We notice that we have 6 bins and 19 balls or analogously, five bars and 19 stars. This means that there are 19 choose five, excuse me, 19 plus five choose five, or 19 plus five choose 19 ways to allocate our sum of 19 to these six digits to x1 to x6. However, we're missing something important here. This, this alone, unfortunately, is not the solution. And the reason for that is because in our count, in what we enumerate right here, we are also counting solutions where x1, for example, could equal 10 and x2 could equal 9 and x3 to x6 all equal 0. This still sums up to 19. x1 to x6 still sum up to 19. However, we violate this constraint right here. So unfortunately, this would not be a valid solution. We cannot have 10 or more allocated to each or any of the xi's. So what we need to do is take our total sum right here, which we've calculated, 24 choose 5, and subtract out from them the invalid solutions. The solutions which have an xi such that it is greater than 9. So how do we do that? Well, we can do that by first allocating for a sample xi that it is equal to 10. You know, 10 is the first integer greater than 9. So we say xi is greater than 10, and then we count the number of ways to distribute the remaining nine elements, because 19 minus 10 is equal to nine, to distribute the remaining nine elements amongst the six bins. And here we have another stars and bars problem. We have six bins, nine balls, or analogously, 
five bars and nine stars. And what we have is that for each XI, we're gonna go back up here, for each XI, we have that the number of invalid solutions are then nine plus five, choose five. This is the number of ways to allocate 19 such that xi is greater than or equal to 10, making it an invalid solution. Lastly, to wrap up this problem, we'll say this is equal to 14 choose five. So this is the second piece of the puzzle. Lastly, to wrap up our solution, what we're gonna do is combine these to get our total number of valid ways. We start with the total ways, including the invalid ones, 24 choose five. Again, we got that expression uh, right there using our original stars and bars without the restriction, without that restriction right there. And then for each XI, we count the number of invalid solutions. That's right there. We also know that there are six XIs. We have our X1, X2, all the way up to X6. And for each of them, there are 14 choose five invalid solutions. So then we subtract from our original value six times 14 choose five. And actually this expression right here is our final answer to this counting problem. Now guys, before I wrap up, I'd like to say that this was a slightly more involved, challenging problem that involved, you know, the use of different techniques and strategies and a very innovative application of stars and bars. I hope that this problem made sense. However, I un understand that you may have questions and if you do, please comment them below. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and check out our parent site, openquant.co. Of course, if you have an alternative solution, please comment it below. We'll pin the best one. Thank you.